The sun is down. Mommy's still gone. I've been up all night. <laughs> I just had the worst night's sleep I've ever had in my life. Hey guys, welcome back to the Beast and Bunch. Hello. We are going camping this weekend. Which Tanner is so excited about, I'm excited about. We're gonna be packing a little bit this morning, just like some snacks. Tanner already did the brunt of the packing. The brunt. And so I thought I'd just help him out a little bit with the snack. The brunt means I got the entire truck loaded. <laughs> <laughs> this is your passion. You wanna, you wanna talk passions? This is your favorite thing to do. Yeah, it's fun. So anyway, let's go pack some <laughs> snackies for this. <laughs> Mr. Organizer Boy. I'm great. He also organized the entire pantry, which looks amazing. Let's grab some. These are literally our go-to snack. I'm bringing these. You can when, bring whatever you want. I'm bringing these. Chomps, if you haven't had them. Yeah, these are the best. We have choices of beef and jalapeno in here. I'm gonna unpack like, I don't know, the rest of them. <laughs> My favorite thing about these beef sticks, if you haven't had them, zero sugar. 10 to 12 grams of protein in each stick. They're a healthy snack and the kids love them too. If you wanna learn more about Chomps, I'm gonna have a link in the description. Go try them, you will not be sorry. They are so freaking good. Thank you Chomps for sponsoring this video. It's such a good collaboration with them because we are always stacked with Chomps. All right, I just packed all the snacks that we're gonna take in the car. You can never have too many. When you're Thank camping, you. and when you're camping, you know the feeling of like, we can't get food. We can't get food because we're in the middle of nowhere and there's no stores around. Like there's nothing that's scarier to me. And so overpacking food is just like, you have to, so that I don't feel like, oh my gosh, we have no food and we're stuck and there's no snackies. So anyway, all right. I think that's the last of everything that we needed to pack. So let's go get the girls loaded in the car and get on our merry, merry way. We have to be quiet because Stella fell asleep, but we are headed on a little family road trip slash camping trip. We're only going for two nights, so it's a quick one. I was in a podcast. <laughs> I was in the podcast. The podcast. <laughs> she was recently in our podcast. We're going to Moab, which is in Utah. It's got the delicate arches there, which is what is on the Utah license plate. So it's just a national park. It's really beautiful. We'll see how it goes. We've never done two nights camping. We've only ever done one, because that's always what I'm allowed. Okay, so we're going to Kings Mountain Campground. I've never been there. I've never camped in Moab at all. So this is all new for us. I brought burgers for dinner and I haven't cooked on the my camping grill um, for almost a year now. So I hope it's all intact. <laughs> Let's hope all goes well. I think it will. got stopped because there's these four dudes up on the side of the mountain just knocking rocks down and I was like dude that would be the funnest job ever also thankful so that they're doing that so that we don't get nailed by one of these rocks if you really cared about our camping trip you would have bought a drone and followed us the whole drive we're not having luck finding a campground yet a couple of the camp campgrounds have been closed, so we're getting a little nervous that there's not going to be a spot for us to camp. <laughs> okay, so it turns out that there's really cool campgrounds at the end of this. Luckily, there's a ton that are open. Okay, how cool is this spot? There we are. Do you see us? I'm running to find service because we just got a very important phone call and we need to have service for this. A uh, lot rests on this. Okay, see ya. What's up there, Oz? Just come here. What is it? Do you see that green thing? What is it, Is Mom? that a flattened lizard or is it a lizard that's alive? Oh, it's alive! Looking for dinosaur bones? Yeah. Nice. Stella. She's mad. What's for new? So sick. We have our own little valley in here. And Lauren is now trying to get service because I could not find any. 
I failed. All right, guys. Coffin, Stella, your face is so cute. No, it's so dirty. <laughs> oh yeah, dirty too. We got some potatoes and onions cooking. Just put some burgers in. The sun is down. Mommy's still gone. She's been gone for like 30, 40 minutes maybe. Classic camping. I had the thought like we might not have service, but I was like hopeful that we would. We don't. Anyway, dinner will be served in like 10 minutes, so that's good. We got dinner. Dinner. That looks so pink. It's a little pink for me. All right, Ozzy, I want to see your performance. Okay. I am sitting in the chair by the fire. I have to sit by the fire. Woo! That was the best performance I've ever seen. Encore, encore, encore. Okay. So, I was telling everybody you were out there getting service for a very important thing that needed to be done. Mm hmm. Why did I think that was somebody walking? Mission accomplished, mission failed. It's half accomplished, half failed. All right. So basically a fail, but I tried. All right. Thank you. I love that. We were getting worried about you. You're gone for like 45 minutes. Yeah, it was so annoying. Anyways, we're almost done. Oh, Ozzy, I'm going to have to help you eat that burger. Mommy's done with her burger. Stella, is that yummy? She has taken a few bites. That's good. <laughs> Good morning. I've been up all night. <laughs> that was pretty. That was pretty bad. I feel really bad because Ozzy and Stella both have this little lingering cough that they've had for a while, and it hasn't been that bad. But it just turned into like a little ear infection for Ozzy. So last night is when it hit her the hardest. She woke up three times, just like screaming, like my ear, my ear. Everybody in the campground is awake. And she's ended up finding some ibuprofen for her and then she finally fell asleep at probably like 1 or 2 a.m. But something about like a rough night camping is once you just kind of wake up, you start getting some, get a fire going. We got some French toast and pancakes. Hi Stella. <laughs> I just kind of forget. Whoops. I don't remember that. Lauren says she still remembers. I just had the worst night's sleep I've ever had in my life. I'm not kidding. Ozzy woke up, her ear was hurting. The wind was so loud that it woke her up and she said her ear was hurting so she was in like a fusion frenzy. She was like half asleep crying. The wind woke her up again. And then Stella woke up a couple hours later. She was like sitting up. We were waking up every time the wind would gust. It was so loud. But we woke up to this. So pretty. Stella's working on her pancakes. Um, I made us some French toast and pancakes, and they taste like red onion potato from last night's dinner, which is kind of nice. Got a little fire going. Ozzy's still snoozing. The sun's like peeking over now. It's gonna be a fun day. Lauren did just tell me that she is not doing another night. <laughs> I don't blame her. I think by the time nighttime rolls around, she might forget how bad it was, but who knows, dude? Who knows who you? That girl has always respected sleep. She likes a good 12 hours every day. Lauren's trying to set up a family photo right now using the bike. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna be sick. Yeah. I'm getting all the kisses. Let me in. I'm getting Let all the kisses. In. Let me in. Tanner that I just 
just can't do another night. Not after the night that we had. And then to top it off, it's my time of month. Just now. I had no idea it was coming. What a time to get that. <laughs> and I will not be camping tonight. You can Uber home me if that's your state. Oh my gosh. She was the one that was so sad last night. Yeah, but I didn't know we had We need to go before. home and we need to get her an antibiotic for her ear. So we finally got yeah. service and we did the thing that we were supposed to do last night. Yes. Did it this morning. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. Lauren got half of the thing done, the important thing that we needed a service for, but couldn't finish the other half. Tries calling everybody, we just have terrible service, we're an hour away from service. So this morning, we finally made it to a hotel, <laughs> we got there, finished the second half, everything is done, and now we sit and wait. Okay, so if you're wondering, you have to make a reservation to get into the park <laughs> if it's before four. And we didn't do that, so we waited in this long line to get in. And then they were like, nope, you gotta turn around, go back to the end of the line, and get a reservation. So we did that, and we're finally in. Yeah, you we made it. Oh, it's so cool. So pretty. Look at that. The castle. What do you see out there, Oz? Castles. Castles? What do you see, Stella? Oh. Ozzy, how is that rock balancing? We found the arch that Tanner and I came to nine years ago. It was right before we got engaged. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So it was like probably around this time, nine yeah. years ago. Yeah. And so we're gonna go up and show the girls the arch that we saw last time we were here. All right, this is the arch that mommy and daddy came to nine years ago. She's leading the way. Good job, baby. You're doing so good. She's done this on every stair from the top. We're almost to the bottom ish. She hasn't missed a step. What is it? What is it like having a two-year-old? <laughs> you ask. Go hiking with your two-year-old. This is why we're not actually doing any hikes. This is the longest. It's just like a walk. It's a jaunt to the arch. So you want some water? Yeah. <laughs> want me to give you candy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 are you kidding me? You're so drama, girl. You are a drama. Double arch, baby. All right, we did the walk to the windows. Now we're going to walk over here to double arch. This is probably a little too ambitious. We might not make it. Yes, you are. We got two lamb chops. Couple lammies. Yeah. Wow, girls, you see the double arch? Mommy. What? Daddy hold me. He did hold you. Yeah. I saw that. Now do you feel like you got rest that you need? Yeah. Good. We just got home. We're just on my bed. <laughs> and it just made me realize, wow. <laughs> I love being in a home. I love sleeping in a home. And it's so fun for me to do like a one night camping thing. It makes me just like really appreciate like being in a house. You know what I mean? We're just cleaning out the car right now and then I'll show you the house update. Our yard looks so good. They uh, got this part all, this was all like weeds and crazy stuff. So they flattened this. And then there'll be like gravel here, but then this will be like how to enter the backyard, the front yard. This is all level right here. Yes, sir. 
so now we have stairs to the side yard from the front yard the front yard is all going to be one level yeah and then we'll have stairs to the backyard which is going to be so freaking nice so excited to see all this progress what book are you reading this oh my goodness can i just say that i'm the happiest i've ever been sleeping in my bed last night <laughs> Even we'll though you you're camper boy, even though you're camper boy, admit <laughs> that no. you are so happy that you got to sleep in your bed last night. I'm serious. You Here's were like, I did. you were like, I'm so tired. I'm so I did. <laughs> well, it was tiring because we just drove all the way there, <laughs> got a few hours of sleep, and then drove all the way back. So by the time yeah. I got back, but we would have I had to zonked. set up camp and then not get sleep again, and then you would have had to drive back after. We don't that. know I'm that. just saying. That's speculation. I'm just saying. I think we would have had a great night's rest. Whatever. <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this little Moab camping vlog. Ozzy's reading herself a book. I think I was eating one of these when we started this vlog. <laughs> <laughs> and now here we are again here we are again it chomping it up um anyway we love you guys we hope that you enjoyed this video and this fun little vlog and hopefully it inspires you to get outside get out there and <laughs> Lauren literally doing the opposite hopefully this inspires you to stay inside and not, not go out because it's scary you. and you might not sleep <laughs> hopefully this inspires you to you know always never take for granted your own bed <laughs> I'm, not I'm just kidding um love you guys and get out there get out of your comfort zone it's totally worth it totally totally worth it. this is not an inspirational <laughs> video just close the vlog I'm sorry okay love you guys we'll talk to you about bye it. talk to you again next time oh my gosh <laughs>